Mentally present. Are you mentally present right now? If not, can you be? Let's talk about it. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about lack of mental presence. And um, it's actually something that I'm experiencing right now. And I figured it's a, a great moment to just address it. Um, things that, that um, <laughs> uh, Max kind of advised me not to speak to uh, are the details of what's going on in my life right now. However, what's going on is, is making me feel absolutely zapped out of the present moment. And... You want to, I know as an artist, we always want to be, we want to be present. We want to uh, be, you know, like in direct confrontation with, with uh, what we're doing and committing to our actions uh, right then and there. And sometimes um, you can't, sometimes you cannot. And it is, it's, it's part to do with us being human. You know, like there's just things going on that I only know they're only going to get better with time. And there is, uh, there's a growing acceptance of that. And right now the acceptance isn't too big, but it's, it's, it's a fight with that because obviously we, I want to be present. I want to be able to sit down and write. And, you know, when I'm, when I'm over at the studio with, uh, with Dr. Wiley, I'm able to do that. And, you know, uh, when I'm on set for another gig that's like a corporate gig or a voiceover, hey, I got to be present and do that because I'm getting paid to be there. And, you know, um, right now I'm showing up for myself. And it's, it's tough to do that right now and be mentally present because of some of the emotional things I'm going through right now. And that, that is absolutely, um, it's affected me um, and my energy, definitely affected my sleep. Um, it's affected, whew, it's affected my thoughts. Um, I talked earlier about what thoughts do you honor and what thoughts do you just let pass by. That's been, that filter, that filter has been a little bit off lately. And, um, it's, it's, it's tough because you, you, you want to be in a certain mode for your work and your people. And it's, it's, it's sometimes you have to accept that you're not in that space. You're just, you're just not in that space right now. And it's, um, it's, 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 I think there's power in accepting that and saying, you know what, might not be able to get any writing done today. You know, we're going to go for a walk. And actually, when I get done with this, I'm going to go for a walk around the lake. Um, and there's, there's, there's power in that and being able to say, you know what, not today. Not today, Satan. Um, or just to, just to acknowledge that, you know, it's, you know, what, what you may have thought was going to go down today, just, it, it probably ain't going to go down. And you, you, you got to take it with a, you know, a grain of salt or just a grain of nothing and just say, you know what, tomorrow, um, maybe I'll be able to write, maybe I'll be more present with my craft or whatever it may be. Um, but right now it's just not the time. And because everything is like pretty fluid, you know, like especially art, super fluid. You have to accept that. You have to accept the ebbs and the flows. And that, for me in the past, oh my goodness, I used to show up to the coffee shop and be like, no, I will write at least two pages. And it did so much more damage than good because I ended up like, like pushing through like, you know, two pages of things that I just, I was never going to use those lyrics. Um, and it, it didn't give me any grace. It didn't give me any patience. Oh. Uh, really killed the patience for myself. And um, in the long run, it developed this expectation of outcome and it really, uh, it really annihilated the idea of process. Uh, and when I began to um, kind of uh, prioritize process or prioritize outcome over process, that was where, um, that was really where I, I think I was the least present. So that being said, um, it's, it's, been a, uh, it's been slow getting to this place right now. However, um, I know that th this is going to pass. This is definitely going to pass, and I'm going to see the other end of it. And I think the beautiful part of it is actually engaging with the, uh, the understanding that, um, you know, I'm just not going to be able to write today. Maybe not this week. Who knows? 
and and really understanding that and accepting it like acceptance is huge as an artist and I know that a lot of times we want to fight we want to fight the wave uh, we want to fight the current and um, some days you just gotta I mean for me I just step outside of it and just watch it go by um, and really for me right now it's kind of like basking in the work that's been done over the past month as opposed to let's crank out more let's get more going let's get more going it's Dude, human, human, take a break, baby, take a break. You know, you, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get yourself just zapped out of energy doing all that stuff. So I, um, right now, yeah, that's what I wanted to speak to. And if you're feeling that, I'm curious how that's gone for you. You know, when do you find it most appropriate to be like, whoa, like what's a clear sign to you as an artist or, or just in anything that you do, like not going to get it done today. I gotta, I gotta chill out. Um, I'm curious what you think of that. Um, so yeah, and speaking to that and, you know, all the things that have been done and, um, all the work that, uh, I've been putting out, you can check it all out at patreon.com slash Tucson Morrison. Uh, there's a lot of behind the scenes videos. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, videos about process and, and interviews, early access interviews with other artists and, um, uh, unreleased content, rough drafts of songs that are there as well. So you're hearing things from, you know, point A to release. Uh, and a lot of them are between point A and release right now. So you can hear all of that at patreon.com slash Tucson Morrison. And just thank you so much for taking the time and energy to watch this video. I really, uh, I really appreciate it. And we will most definitely see you in the next video. Later, y'all.